Okay, you fabulous fourth graders, math masters of virtual room 502. It's time to get out your problem set. Page 27. I believe that is. And if it's not, because my eyesight's so bad, we're not talking about lesson eight in your problem set. Today's date is 10 21 2020. And we're going to get started right away. I'm putting my timer on for 10 minutes. So we have to have a little stamina for this. 10 minutes. Okay. Let's get us rolling right away. Nothing standing in our way. We are multiplying machines. Our first uh, problem is represent the following expressions with disks. Regrouping is necessary. Writing a matching expression and recording the partial products vertically as shown below. So we have 1 times 213. Now, you know this. Okay, well, let's go ahead and do this. We have two hundredths. All right. 110. And appears three ones. So we could say uh, one times three is three. They go over here and they say one times one ten. That's absolutely correct. Is ten. And then over here we have uh, one times two hundredths is two hundredths. And then we have three, one, and two. Look at that. Lo and behold, it does indeed equal two hundred thirteen. So uh, let's go one times how many hundredths? Two hundredths. Uh, one times one ten. And one times three ones. That's what this is all about. Okay, let's go to the next one. A little more difficult here. A little more difficult. Here. We're doing two times two hundred thirteen. So we have two hundredths. One ten. Three ones. Let's set up our problem over here. 213 times uh, 2. We'll do 3 times 2 first. What does 3 times 2 equal? It equals 6. And that's 3 times 2. Excuse me. <laughs> it's 2 times 3 ones. Okay? And I'll, so 2 times 3 once is 6. Now we do 10 times 2. Our, our, um, so we just go like right there. So we would say, um, two, we get 10, 20. And we'd say 2 times 1, 10 would equal 20, right? Then we have the hundredths. We're multiplying them by 2. And then we would say over here, uh, 2 times 2 hundredths. I got to fit in the camera. Yeah, there we go. So 2 times 2 hundredths is 100, 200, 300, 400. And let's see what our answer is when we add this all up. 6, 2, and 4, 426. And we could do the thing here on the bottom, but I'm not going to bother because we'll never get through the problem set if we go that slow. Okay? If I'm going too fast, you can always pause the recording. Now we have 3 times 214. They're mixing it up a little bit. So we're going to go uh, 2 hundredths, 1 ten, and 4 ones. And we're going to go 214 times 3. Okay, so let's make another group of four and another group of four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And what we did is we did three times four, and I'm just going to use a zero to show ones. No, that's not going to work. I'm trying to go ways to speed things up, but I guess we got to write ones. Let's go to the tens. We're doing one ten times three. What do we get? 10, 20, 30. And we did 3 times 1, 10. Okay, we're in our hundredths. We're multiplying two hundredths by 3. Now we have three groups of 200, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And how about this? We go 3 times 2, and I'll put a capital H to be uh, represent hundredths. That was a time saver. Okay, so... I go 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 2, but then I look over here and I go, what up? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Huh. Well, of course. 
Watch, we got to regroup, right? I'm going to take that 10 and put it over here. So I do have two left. Let's go to the hundreds columns. One, two, three, four. One plus three is four, right? So we have four right there. And then we're going to go over to the hundreds columns. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Look at that. Two ones, four tens, and six hundreds. And there we have it, 642. Let's flip this over. Remember, you can always pause if I'm too rapid. Oh, I got a little bleeding through, but that's okay. So three, three times 1,254, okay? So let's do three, uh, 1,254 times three. Okay, I think we're ready to not do all the stuff over here, don't you? Let's hope we are. Okay, so we have four ones. I'm going to have to use a darker pen because I made a little mess here. Four ones, one, two, three, four. Five tens, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, two hundreds, one, two, and one thousand. We're multiplying by three, so I'm going to make three groups of four. Okay, so what's that equal? Four, eight, twelve, right? So my partial products over here, I'm going to put a twelve. Okay, let's make three groups of five. There's one group, there's two groups, and now three groups. Okay, what's that going to equal? Remember, these are tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150. So we have 150. Oh, Mr. Lee, it didn't regroup. Let's take that time to do that right now and get 10 over here. There we go. So we also need to regroup this. I got to take 10 of these, and that's why I kind of like dealing with fives. You can just go like that, five, 10, and get them over to the hundreds. All right? But that's, so our next one up is two, or 200 times three. There's two, four, six. What do we have? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. I'm not going to add that extra 100 that we developed over there, so it's 600. Because that'll come into play when we add this all up. And then 1,000 times 3, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, we get 3,600, right? 3, oops, what am I doing? 3,000, 3,000. We will get 3,600. So now it is time to add them up. Let's do that. 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is indeed 2. And look, 2 right there. 1. Uh, 110 plus 510 plus 0 tens plus 0 tens is 6 tens. Is that how many we have over here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we have 100 plus 600 is 700. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then, that was my mistake right there, 3 thousands. So we have the 7 and the 3. And there's our answer, 3,762. All right. Boy. We can finish a problem set in 10 minutes. That would be a new record. Represent the following expressions with disk using either method shown during class regrouping as necessary. To the right, record the partial products vertically. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, place value picture. I think that's kind of a cool way to do it. So it looks like we're only going to need the hundreds. So I'm making three columns. Ones, tens, and hundreds, and we're going to put our problem over here. It's 212 times 3. Let's make our 212 first. Two ones, one ten, two hundreds. Okay, we're right there. Okay. So, um, actually, let's not do the partial products picture because this is pretty simple. We're just going to go straight ahead. Two times three. 10 times 3, uh, 200 times 3. Can you go ahead and pause the recording and figure this one out on your own, okay? I practically did most of the math for you, but you do it now. And welcome back. I hope you actually paused the recording and did the math. 2 times 3, 2, 4, 6. 10 times 3, 10, 20, 30. 200 times 3, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. And we go 6, 3, 
and 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 2, 4, 6, we're all there. 636 is the correct answer. And sometimes Mr. Leggett has to do like a little jarring thing because this is not how I learned how to multiply. Okay, now I think this one we could do the partial products picture. The partial products picture. Let's make one, two, three, and four. We're going to have one. Oops, there's our uh, alarm, but we're going to finish this problem. And thousands, and we'll do um, 2,546. And I'm sure your parents would say the same thing. This is not how I learned how to multiply, but this is really a great way to show us how to multiply. Six times three. Six ones times three ones, six, 12, 18. So we're going to one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 18. Six times three is 18. Say goodbye to the six. Okay, next we have 40 times three. 40 times three. Remember, four times three is 12. And we just have the zero, so we have 120. 120. Done. 500 times 3. Think about 500 times 3. 5 times 3, 15. Add the two zeros, we get 1,500. 1,000 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 500. Last one. 2,000 times 3. Hmm, 2,000 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6, so that must be 6 thousands. Oops, I messed up. I didn't put the 20 here. Wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. Hold on. Uh, four, I didn't put the 120 here. And look, I'm running out of room. Oh, Mr. Leggett. Oh, it's going to be confusing. You know, I'll have to do it down here. I'm sorry, boys and girls. We did 6 times 3 to get to 18. Uh, four times, 40 times 3 got us 120. And... Uh, uh, 500 times 3 got us 1,500. So now we're doing uh, 2 thousands times th th 3, 2, 4, 6 thousands, right? So I'm going to put 6,000 down here. It's time to zoom out. Wow. What a mess. Okay, so we're ready to add 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 8. Look at that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 works out perfectly. 10 plus 20 is 30. Look at this. 10, 20, 30. Rock on. 100 plus 500. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. There we go. And then 1,000 plus uh, 6,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7,000. So there is our answer. 7,638. Wow. What a problem that was. Okay, um, get ready for the student debrief, and then you can log on to Zern and wait for and do that until um, uh, recess at 10.30. Thank you for being a wonderful group of fourth grade students. This is where I wait at the stop record. See you in a bit.